All right, so my direction this morning has entirely changed. I just had about a five foot coup to follow all the way up to the boat. I'm coup to fishing now. This is gonna be a morning for coup to fishing. I was targeting big jack on poppers, but there's silence on top. There's just nothing going on. So I just saw a big cuda and he was willing to follow up. We're gonna see if we can connect with some big cudas. Right now I'm just throwing this little sardine bait right here and we'll see if that works. But if it doesn't, we'll put on a cuda tube and start ripping, man. Oh, oh gosh, dude. First cast, this thing got hit. So, all right, we're throwing this bad boy. Oh, gosh, again, second cast. This thing is getting cranked. All right, I had one follow up on that sardine bait, but he wasn't going to commit. So, I just put a tube on and see. that was getting followed oh come on do you see the size of that tail weight behind it we got this oh god he hammered it oh I pulled it's such a weird thing with these cuda tubes. You can't set on them. You just gotta let them hit it. My heart is pumping now, man. Oh, giant, dude. Giant. I think it is. Maybe it's not. Oh. Yeah, giant, giant, giant. Turn, dude, turn. Putting a stick on him. I'm cupping the spool, we gotta turn this guy. Holy crap. That run. He's definitely through the dock. We're going to him. He's on the other side. It's going real light on this fish, man. He's through the pilings. I don't think he's wrapped around it. I just think he's touching it. Maybe he's wrapped. I don't Oh, this fish is freaking huge, dude. What do I do here? I have to like... You know, how do I keep my boat? Okay, we're gonna see if we can just guide them through these pilings here. We have uh, dug a hole for ourselves here. This thing is a log. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. If I can just get his head around this piling, he's around. I'm gonna pull him through, I'm gonna pull him through. No. Come on, he was so close. <sighs> Sorry guys about this camera angle, but I'm trying real hard to keep this fish on. He's right against this piling. Oh God, the power is unreal. I'm not even trying to be dramatic. This fish is just a tank. Head around. We're gonna blast the troll motor and see if we can just pull him through here. No, 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 no. Oh, that does not sound good. Turn, turn, turn your, turn your head, turn your head, turn your head, turn your head, turn your head. We are through. Holy cow. That took some doing right there. He's about done, I think. But oh my gosh. To get that fish out from underneath there. I was having to play that so light. And I can see there's so many frays in my leader. Oh. Oh. Wait till you see this freaking tank. 
How about that thing right there? This thing is a giant. Dude, that is definitely the biggest cuda I've ever caught in shore. Oh my gosh. Look at the mouth on this thing. This thing, look at that. That is such a beautiful shot of that thing's mouth. This thing is, he's barely fitting in frame. He's probably, let me get the tape on him. Here you go, on the tape right there to about 38 inches. That is a tank right there. That is such a beautiful, beautiful fish. They are so unbelievably aggressive. I'm gonna get him back in the water and get him revived because he fought hard, man. Okay. Look at just how beautiful that silver and blue. He's starting to get some juice back. I've been spending about five minutes with this fish now, probably. I just want him to really kick off when he goes. Oh man, that was just intense, dude. You just don't, the power behind those fish is just so unreal. And I, I am just so amazed I was able to get him to that dock. That first run, you could see the line slice through the water about 30 yards, just go and that is just the coolest takes ever when the line slices like that. But honestly, I was I was nervous about having to get him to those docks. I thought I was going to either have to jump in the water or jump on top of this dude's dock, which I did not want to do. But that was really, really cool. If you just haven't felt the power of those fish, it's an unreal thing. And that was a monster for being in shore in a river. A very, very big one. That's very cool. He definitely... Uh, mangled up my tube a little bit here as you can see my cables are all loose but we might be able to use it again actually but that was an incredible incredible fish I'm gonna retie because I got some mad frayage on this line I mean I'll show you how close he was to breaking me off on that dock right here there's a huge fray all the way up to the leader knot all the way down it's like that the whole entire length of the leader I am I'm in shock right now. That was awesome. I'm gonna re-rig and see if we can get another one. All right, I finally retied after that last fish, dude. My hands are like shaking. Oh my God, that eat. God. It's coming at me so fast. I was trying to turn his head away from his pilings now. Oh. This fish might be bigger than the last one. It's weird, I haven't jumped yet. Typically, I don't know, I guess they're either, they either run or they jump. This one's a donkey. Oh my god. <laughs> this is absurd. <sighs> it has spun my boat in a complete circle. Oh gosh. Yeah, this one's way bigger than that last one. Holy crap, dude. Tightened up a tiny bit. It's thrashing. Looks like I've got a freaking kingfish on, dude. This thing is an absolute leviathan. Getting biblical on you now. Oh my god. This thing should be offshore on a wreck, dude. Oh, sweet. God, no, dude, my line is like, he might come off here, dude. My, my monofilament's in his mouth. Holy, sweet Lord almighty. 
This thing is freaking humongous. I need a glove. I'm shaking. This fish is about to come off, dude. My floor carbon's in his mouth. <laughs> Do you see the size of this thing? This thing is a giant. Oh my god. This thing, it's gotta be 25 pounds. Holy crap. I don't understand how close that fish was coming unhooked. Look at my fluorocarbons inside his mouth. This thing is otherworldly, truly a freaking giant. There's no reason this should be in a river. This thing, oh. Look at this fish right here. I. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. This thing is an absolute giant. He is longer than my measuring tape right there. It goes to 48 and he's about 3 inches past 48. It's probably 51 inch barracuda. This thing is so unbelievably beautiful. I'm going to release him because he's been out for a while because it took me a lot of effort to get him unhooked. But holy cow, this thing is amazing. He's getting a little life back in him now. You guys, this is no joke. Like that first one I caught, I was like... I thought that was big. This is a 51 inch barracuda. He's definitely getting some life back into him. I wanna make sure this guy is so properly released. Oh my God. Look at the back on this fish. Dude, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just insane. That is the biggest barracuda I've ever caught in my life. And to catch him on an artificial inshore God, that thing was just a absolute monster. No getting around it. Even if we were offshore fishing a wreck and we caught that thing, we'd say, damn, dude, that's a big cuda. And that thing you saw, I put him on my tape. Hopefully you can see with my GoPro, he's longer than the tape was. Tape's 48 inches. He was about three to four inches longer than the tape. That thing was a true, true river monster, dude. That was just the coolest thing ever. And I hope you can see the take on the GoPro because it was gross, dude. Like, he just inhaled the whole entire tube and i actually had to cut the tube in half and and pull the treble hook out the back of his gill plate but he swam off real well i mean he started off real slow and i was kind of worried when first when i released him he started off real slow but then he just started slowly cruising away and what's funny about kudas you know they're not like jack where they're constantly in a state of swimming really fast they're like snook where they kind of just swim real fast and then they'll sit and stay in one place for a long period of time and they'll just kind of hang out in one spot but dude that was freaking unbelievable i don't even know what to say that thing dragged me about 100 yards that was just awesome oh my god all right guys i am done i am done cuda fishing because that was my only working tube and it has been destroyed pretty much you can see right there i had to cut that hook and i was so unbelievably worried that that fish was going to come off right next to the boat because i didn't have a glove and he was too slippery and too heavy for me to pick up this with both my hands like that and my fluorocarbon you can see how cut up it is right there it slipped into his mouth and was wrapped around one of his big giant freaking incisors and i was freaking out dude and obviously a net's not going to go around a 53 inch barracuda and so i had to put my glove on and just let him sit loose with the line sticking in his mouth i had no other way to land him and so i literally just praying i was like please please don't come on buttoned or sliced through but that was absolutely insane and that was just such an impromptu thing like i just was throwing for jack this morning and i had a huge coup to follow up a swim bait i was throwing for a jack and i was like well let's just fish for kudas if they're showing up we're gonna fish for them like why not and first cast on the tube i got followed up and i think it only took like six or seven casts to hook up with that first big one that ripped us through the docks and i was like all right we got a big fish for the day you know we got our big fish we're just gonna throw and see if we can catch another one maybe same size maybe smaller whatever and that freaking giant oh my gosh dude for reference that first fish i caught was 30 what did i say 38 inches and that one was probably 52 to 53 inches long that thing was a giant oh man i i hope you guys enjoyed the video today man that was unreal i have not experienced something like that and a fight like that in a long time that was awesome 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 thank you guys so much